Hello and welcome to Scale Stuff. In this week's video, I'm going to be building the MH172 scale Mark IV male World War I heavy tank. In the box, you get two small sprues of parts, some glueable rubber tracks, black and white instructions, and a decal sheet to make four versions of tank. A first look at the sprues shows them to be okay. First cast in 1996, they have a little bit of age to them. There's a little bit of flash to clean up, but they seem to have plenty of detail on them. I'm concerned though, as the detail looks quite fine, and I'm worried that they won't take paint well later on. But I guess we'll uh, find out later. Overall, this model has a low parts count, and I'm imagining this is going to be a quick build. Anyway, on to the build. First thing on the menu is the guns. Nice and simple, two part assembly here. There's just a bit of flash to clean up, but nothing major. A nice feature of this kit is the parts numbers are printed on the back of a lot of parts. So even when the parts are cut from the sprue, they're easy to identify. The fit overall on this model seems okay. Things are a little bit fiddly at times though. With the guns and side bits done, it's on to step four. This looks to be the most complicated of the steps and the instructions don't hold your hand at this point. So I'm gonna do what looks easy first and leave the bits to dry in between each bit so the small parts are easier to handle. Though a bit delicate, this bit wasn't all that bad actually. I didn't read the instructions about bending the exhaust a little bit, so uh, make sure you do this when the instructions ask you to, to avoid messing this bit up. Now to add the side bits. Again, nice and simple here. Sides on, I added the gun sponsons and the machine guns to these bits. After doing this, the instructions ask you to glue the tracks together before adding them to the tank. Originally I was going to leave these off to aid painting, but after a dry fit later on, I went back on this idea and added them on at the end of the build. So yeah, if you're making one of these kits at home, just follow the instructions. Looks like the kit has saved the worst bit till last though, adding the rails on top of the hull. These bits were really fiddly to add and uh, took some uh, liberties with positioning these parts to get a more stable fit. But with them added, I left the model to dry before adding the tracks. To keep the tracks in position while the glue dried, I used two elastic bands. And uh, yeah, that's all the building in this kit done. Now onto painting. 
To paint this model, I'm going to have to mix up a colour, as the UK used an odd greeny brown during World War I that causes a lot of arguments on model forums. I'm using elf green mixed with AK British khaki brown. During the second coat off camera, I added more green to the mix as the AK paint was overpowering the green. Base coat down, I picked out the black of the tracks before picking out the exhaust in AK World War I British khaki. And um, yeah, that's the basics paints down on the model. Basic colours down, I decided to mix things up a bit and do a wash before panel lines and decals. Um, the wash was just black mixed with leftovers from painting the main green. Wash on, I added the decals to the model. The decals in this kit are a little bit thick. And uh, yeah, I've had problems with silvering with MHAR decals in the past, so we'll see how these go on. The decals are simple and easy to apply, but we'll need a firm pressing down to get them into the contours. They do go a long way to adding a bit of interest to the kit though and really finish the model off. Decals on, I highlighted the raised areas with a light dry brush of skeleton bone. Then I picked out the panel lines with some watered down black before going over the model with some very watered down black to add more depth. And um, yeah, with that on, I think I'm going to call it for this model. Nice, simple paint job. So, and to be honest, I don't think it's come out too bad. Conclusion. The MH 170 second scale Mark IV male tank is a nice model kit that builds into a nice representation of this iconic World War I tank. The kit does have a few little issues though. The decals are quite thick and shiny. Uh, this model would benefit from a gloss coat before their application, followed by a matte coat to seal them in. Um, at some points in the construction, the instructions and lack of location pins leave a bit up to the imagination. And uh, dry fitting some more complex parts before gluing them will really help at these stages of the kit. Despite that though, I really enjoyed making this model. The issues that this kit presents are easy to overcome, and there are no parts of the model that are kit breaking. Costing around the £6 mark, I'd say that it's good value for money, and for that bargain bin price, you really can't complain about a few minor issues. Anyway, that's my review of the MH 170 second scale Mark IV male tank. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful if you're thinking of getting one of these at home or building one of these at home. But until next time, look after yourself and have a good one. Goodbye.